some kind of main philosophy of Krav Maga. Krav Maga is teaching us few things. Self-defense, fighting skills and third-party protection. The main goal is to win. In reality, it's one thing. We must be, it's always a win-lose situation. In training, it's win-win. I get better, my partner will get better. The thinking in the philosophy of the system is not to get hurt, not to be in a confrontation, to avoid the violent confrontation. This is the self-defense side. The self-defense side is not to fight. If we have to fight, we'll do it as soon as possible. We'll try to finish. In the fighting concept, like in a war, the principle or the, the philosophy is cause maximum damage in minimum time and then continue to the next enemy. And in third party protection is even you have to sacrifice yourself for the sake of your loved ones or if I'm protecting of uh, governmental people, it's do your best so the other person will not get hurt and me is less important at this moment. The rule is that there is no rule because it is all about reality. Correct. There are no rules in Kamaga except the rules of the country. If you break the rules of the country, you may be in jail. So do what is needed to do your job, to, to fulfill your mission, because nobody else will do it except you. That's the thinking. And uh, we are trying not to do too much. So we will not cause too much harm if it's unjust. And the next thing is uh, uh, av separate, avoid, try to s s uh, uh, secure the situation. And uh, if we break the rules, uh, we are trying not to do this. Is every situation defendable? The answer, of course, yes. In every situation you can fight. Will you win? It's a good question. Are you good enough? It's always a good question. What we are trying to do is to give the best training, the best tools, the best techniques, the best mental preparation, the best physical preparation. And all the rest depends on the fighter himself or the person. And it can be a kid of 10 years old, it can be a woman, and it can be an adult or old person. We teach them what is suitable for them against the most common problems first and then the less common problems. How many lives did the Krav Maga save, do you know? I, I can, wallets. Yeah, well, yes, definitely many wallets and many lives. Uh, we don't have a numbers exactly, but it is thousands of people during the years. It is, uh, uh, in the past few years, it's very popular among ordinary people. How come? Dangerous times are coming. Yes, uh, Krav Maga started in the military and then it's really uh, exactly 50 years ago, it came to the civil life in Israel. In the last 20 years, I'm spreading it in Europe and in, in other parts of the world. And it's becoming more popular because people uh, have difficulties in, in reality. And they do need two things. One, to be able to protect themselves or their loved ones. And two, to be in a mental state that they are confident. And we give these two capabilities. Have you been in dangerous situations? Nobody wants to attack me. <laughs> of course. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you.